in Uganda almost every day. Refugees come due to conflicts in their motherland countries such as civil wars, epidemic diseases, natural disasters, for example floods, drought, among others. They always use Uganda borders to enter the country. Refugees from countries such as Diyala Kong and South Sudan are the most prominent states to have many conflicts due to political insurgencies resulting in two war, hence leading to fleeing to neighboring countries. According to the State Minister of Environment, Honorable Beatrice Anywa on 5th October 2022, while launching the new project called Restoring and Conserving Degraded and Fragile Ecosystem for Improved Life Odds Among the Refugees and the Host Communities in Kampala. She said, if refugees are spread out, they can be engaged in several productive activities and restore the forest cover quickly, such as a forestation, since their daily needs have caused a lot of degradation because there is pressure to collect firewood to cook food regularly, which is so dangerous to environment. The second deputy prime minister, General Moses Ali, however said yesterday on 24th October 2022 that Mrs. Anyuan's statement was false and out of context and the government has got policies that guides every action it takes. Uganda used to have two seasons throughout the year, that is wet and dry season. However, due to increased population, flu high birth rates, increasing refugees, which caused land fragmentation, resulting into deforestation in order to get land for settlement, settling in swamps, leading to climatic changes, which has resulted into floods and drought. The United Nations decided to make partnership with non-government organizations in refugee settlements and host communication in areas such as West Nile to plant trees in order to overcome the problem of drought in Uganda. Henry Gwase, Live at 8.